Hi there. Have you ever had problems trying to SSH into your Raspberry Pi with Raspbian installed even after following the directions that are given on the Raspberry Pi website, such as using the dd command to copy the IMG file onto your SD card? If you're using a version of Raspbian Jesse that has been released after January of 2017, you may be encountering an issue where they fixed up a security issue where SSH was enabled by default. So in this video, I'll go through and explain how we can enable SSH in a headless manner. So we're going ahead and just typing in a dd command that the Raspberry Pi website is mentioning in order to copy the Raspbian distribution onto our SD card. And once that's done, what we'll do is basically run the sync command so that the data is flushed to the SD card. And we'll plug it into the Raspberry Pi and turn it on. So once we turn it on, we can SSH into the Pi by SSH Pi at the address that is on my local network for the Pi, but we see that the port 22 connection refuse message is coming up. This indicates that the Pi is available to connect to, but the SSH connection is not being established. So if you look at the SSH page of raspberrypi.org, if you scroll down a little bit, it actually says, as of the November 2016 release, Raspbian has SSH server disabled by default. And it actually has some instructions how to enable it, including how to do it on a headless Raspberry Pi. For a headless setup, what you have to do is actually place a file called SSH in the root partition of the SD card. So let's go ahead and do that. So we plug in our SD card into our PC, and let's actually take a look at where the boot partition is mounted to. In my computer's case, it happens to be this location. If you look at the boot partition, there is no SSH file. So if we use the touch command, and if we just go ahead and create an SSH file in the boot partition, and once we run the touch command, let's just do ls to see if the file's there. And as you can see, the file is there. And let's go ahead and put that into our Raspberry Pi. And that's powered up. Once it's powered up, let's try connecting to the Pi like we did before. And this time we actually get a prompt asking us if we do want to connect. And we just type in our password, Raspberry, and as you can see, we logged in right into the Pi. So that pretty much shows how you can enable SSH on a headless Raspberry Pi without having a keyboard, a mouse, a display, or anything. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section. Also, I'll be including some recommended videos as well, so if anything looks interesting, please take a look. As always, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.